instead of taking kind of ideas or thoughts that I had, preconceived notions from my past bodies of work or whatever, I decided to really attack it in a new way and something that can just live here. Uh, everything I've made here is inspired by here and just related to, to crystal. This is basically, you can see that this is these prisms that I kind of proposed and then you know, executed. These are these spheres that are all cut in order to represent kind of different things of light, like this is the sunset or rise, however you want to look at it. I make these little Saturns and then I cold work them down so I have a ring that's my breath trapped. And I think I have about four more in the works that are in the cold shot. So you can see, these are some more of the, the cubes that's just been finished. And then these are, this is like what I'm gonna make with Grand Palace. So, you know, this is like one of the ideas. But yeah, it's like, trying to have multiple things going at once. So I never really have downtime. I don't really do well with downtime. Most of the projects were only really designed around this facility. I don't know if I'll ever get to use crystal again. This work is kind of a specific time and place. I think anytime you make a body of work, it helps you evolve to the next group. It's always, that's one of the things I think that I love about glass blowing is I've been fortunate enough to travel around the world and work with quite many uh, excellent craftsmen or skilled people in glass. Even though I don't speak French much, it's like we all speak the language of glass. Good experience working with them. I've learned and hopefully they have. <laughs>